Hi, good morning, or whatever time it is when you're getting this. I woke up really early up here. Um, look at this. Someone's house, our next door neighbor's house, they're um, fumigating it, so they put all this, this tent over it and they're gonna spray all these deadly toxins. So I decided to leave and get an Airbnb up in the mountains. So beautiful and I woke up really early and I was like oh why are you getting me up <laughs> to to divine love to God you know but then I came out here and I knew why we're in a cabin my son and I Just be present. I had the, I'll just bring it up for you guys. I had the, the, the roughest day yesterday in a way. For about four hours, I was um, setting a boundary with someone. I won't say who right now because I don't wanna, you know, I just wanna give privacy. But it was like a marathon and I'll share it with you guys so you know I was I was just reading um, this verse it says about Christ how he comes uh, a prophet in the Old Testament Malachi was um, don't worry about the names or anything you know just get the essence of this just like you're listening to a myth a fairy story because there's a deeper truth underneath but if you if you just hear the word verses and I don't know how you grow up but if it just shuts you down just let go of that inclination and and be present right now in this moment with what is you know because it's just amazing uh, this prophet said that the Christ will come and he will be like a refiner's fire he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer unto the Lord. The Lord is the I am. Uh, whenever there's a the eternal one. Um, like think of your essence again. But anyway, that he, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering of righteousness, right wayness. But just look at it like that. Like the sun's just about to leave behind this house, you know? this cabin you have an opportunity it's like if the sun just imagine I'm not saying to worship the sun or anything like that I don't I'm not introducing anything like that I'm just saying you know it was so cold and it was so early <laughs> and I came out here and I just stood facing the sun and it just like healed everything that was that was so difficult to face yesterday you know it was it was difficult to face but I was in joy it was a completely different way than I've ever faced a problem in my whole life I was in joy the whole time I just kept letting go of outcome and I encourage this for you so I'm bringing it up for you you can learn okay so if that's like the Sun if the Sun is like divine love and it wants to call you into union into into um, oneness, oneness with divine love. Let's say that, <laughs> sorry, I don't have like any, um, this is like my makeup from yesterday. Like I got, in a way, I don't know, I don't need to apologize. Let go of that. Cheryl, get behind, <laughs> just get in the back seat and God take over. So what Latoya is said to say, <laughs> I got this training from her yesterday. I'm in one of our advanced classes.
So if you get to be like this son and you could have this opportunity to have everything burned out of you that's not necessary, that's not of love, anything that you've picked up, you know, it's like my car has all this dirt on it because the rain sort of came yesterday a little bit, uh, but somehow it just got it all dirty. <laughs> it didn't rain enough to clean it, you know, and it's like, if you picked up all this tar and gunk and just stuff from the road, the road of your life and the divine love. Oh, look at the divine love. I, I have this ring. It's like a, two hearts intertwined, you know? Divine love wants to take you into the center of the center, you know? Jesus said when you pray, go into your inner room. This is like the inner room in the middle. And shut the door. Look at this bird. There are these like California blue jays here. Do you see it on the on the wire? So the divine love wants to purify you so that you can know love at a higher level. You can um You can do like what happened yesterday. What happened yesterday was only because I have been taken through this refiner's fire so deeply. You know, I, um, I highly recommend it. We often run from pain. We run from what we think is gonna hurt us, you know, because it's a fire. And in the book of Revelation, the book of the ap apocalypse or whatever, it just means the revealing, revelations revealing. It reveals all things in symbol. But there's a cup of wrath and there's a cup of joy. I think it's the cup of joy or purification or it's the same cup. It's so wild, this keeps coming to me and I want so much to give it to you so that you're free in your life. It's this cup the same cup that will like burn you if you take it the wrong way will burn out anything that doesn't need to be there so that you can be one with love so you can have union with divine which all religions aspire to this and want this you know <laughs> look at how simple it is And so yesterday, I felt like Gandhi or something. <laughs> it was like peaceful resistance about something. And I just kept letting go of outcome. And I kept getting, and I wanted, I'm just saying what happened so I can give it to you. And, and encourage you, stay on your path. Stay on your path. Trust what the divine love is wanting to do. And wanting you not to stay as a victim. I was loving on this person, you know. I won't say if it's a child or an adult, <laughs> just because, you know. But I was loving on this person, and I just saw so clearly, and you can see this so clearly, that like all I wanted to do was love, but there was the stubbornness, and it was it was my job to correct it. So maybe you'll know that. <laughs> maybe it was a child of some kind. <laughs> you know, a child put in my care in that moment. But we are like that child. And it was like, just turn, you know, in a second and you'll feel my embrace and my love. And, and I kept going, you know, but respecting the autonomy of the other person, but sticking to a boundary, but respecting the autonomy. And God revealed to me so much in that as I kept letting go of outcome and I kept going, I love this person so much. I love this person so much. And I let go of all outcome. And, and thank you, divine love, thank you. Because uh, I was, it was reminded in my heart, you know, give us this day our daily bread. And so I had to keep trusting, trusting that I was given, I was given 
enough enough super substantial enough spiritual substance to be present with this person in love in pure patience in letting go but in firmness in it was such a paradox and you can have this in your own heart and your own life i saw how stubborn in so many ways i'd been so stubborn you know and and it's like for what for what what was i holding on to it's like i was holding on to scraps you know how do you say it like it's like i was holding on to a rotten egg and i thought that's all i could have in life and that's all i was ever going to get so i had to hold on tight to this rotten egg that was putrefying my life you know look at the bear <laughs> that's so funny because this morning as i was praying I, I felt like it was a statue of Mother Mary and then I looked over and it was like oh no it's a bear <laughs> you know but in my heart it was showing that Mary is like our mother and like my sister as well because the, the passage I was reflecting on this morning was when Jesus was baptized and it says um You are my beloved daughter, Cheryl. You know, you are my beloved son. The son, the son of life. With you, I am well pleased. And when I looked it up, I had this commentary from the 1100s or so. I think that's a blessed Theophylact. And it says, um, in thee, I have taken my rest. Look at these sun rays. I didn't plan this. How do we get so lucky? <laughs> how do we have access to so much grace I didn't plan this I was woken up unwilling but knowing after yesterday that when you just yield it's like you get, you get the whole hen house <laughs> you get all the eggs and the roosters and, and a cabin in the woods because you just know like things are happening for a reason instead of complaining that my neighbors were fumigating their house with poisonous gases i'm just like you know what this place was like a hundred bucks you know a little over that and it's usually like 275 but it's off season or something something happened you know because i prayed and i was like i don't want to spend a lot of money <laughs> that's all that's all right and we just got this and we got this. <sighs> and so that sun felt like, it just felt like this grace on my heart that just burned away anything that was, anything that was left over yesterday. And, and so when you're in the middle of something like that, you can just choose. You learn over time as you choose to keep trusting, as you choose to keep yielding. You grow in a relationship just like you would with someone who keeps showing themselves trustworthy. Oh, I have this picture of Jesus staring out at me. I'll show you. Someone from, um, I think he was German, gave it to me because there's German writing on the back. I don't know what it says. But anyway, it's in my wallet as I'm holding my phone. I'm going to wrap this up, but know that you are loved and that don't be afraid of conviction of, of when things come up. The divine love just wants to purify you and bring that up so you're not a victim anymore. You don't live in this old programming. It wants to clean it out so you can be one with like the sun, the sun of life. God is like the sun, you know, divine love. It's shining and it's a cup of wrath or a cup of joy. You know, I saw this person could just yield, but he didn't. Oh, he, she, <laughs> or did. At some point, there was yielding in some level. I know there was, I saw it today. Anyway, I don't wanna make this longer. Uh, I wish you so much love. Um, feel free to share this. 
<laughs> with weird people. We're not weird at all. This is life. This is more beautiful than anything you could ever come across, in my opinion. Because um, I know it is in my heart, and I gladly share it with you. I don't care who's going to make fun of me. I don't care what they say. <laughs> I don't care about anything else but being with you, being with you. All right, much love.